spent a couple of weeks, well, a couple of months really, sort of getting my head round, really retiring and the next prepping myself for the next stage of, uh, of life. I, um, since then, I've just started a new career in medical sales, so I'm a medical sales rep, um, you know, going out and visiting surgeons and, you know, got a bit of background history with all the injuries I've had in my career, so, um, yeah, it's an interesting, interesting transition. Just that there's life outside of rugby. Um, I think when sh when you're in the uh, rugby league world as a player, I think you're very institutionalised, and you know that's all you know, and you know you don't realise the opportunities that there are outside of rugby. And everyone says it, and it's a bit of a, a cliche to say it, but th it genuinely is, um, you know, an exciting time for the rest of your life, really. And rugby league does set you up in in good ways. Um, I just I just give my advice would just be sort of embrace it and take it as it comes really and make sure you've got maybe something, it doesn't have to be a concrete career set in place but at least have some idea of where you want to maybe go into and yeah just go, go with it. For me yeah it was, it was a tough one, it, looking back um, because of the nature of my injury in February I had sort of all year to sort of really um, sort of come to terms with it and you know it, it's all I've ever known, full-time professional. So, yeah, it was, it, I'm not going to lie; it was tough. Um, but I feel like I'm, you know, a lot better place now this compared to the last time, this time last year. So, um, just embracing, you know, being a fan now and watching the game, and I don't miss it if I'm honest. I don't miss playing. That was my next question. That was my next question. What do you miss most? About yeah, it's strange because until until you watch some live games, I don't think you really do know how you're going to feel and. Um, I was looking to hold my old club were really good with me and they invited me back down for the, one of the games and um, took me and the family and watched the game and I, did, I, did, I, I like watching it, I'm a fan of sport, I'm a fan of rugby league definitely but I don't miss, miss playing, um, I think the game's changed quite a bit in the last couple of years and um, you know, you know, old players like me probably change for the better, it's a bit, a bit quicker game and I was more suited maybe to the older style so I've, I've got no regrets and give me a great time and great career. Yeah, massive. I, I remember when it first got proposed, sort of, you know, six, seven years ago, and um, I was a massive advocate of it. And you know, I, I think that it, it's doing some great, making great strides, given all the setbacks of COVID and everything else. And you know, I think the, the sport and the players should embrace it more, and can only go from strength to strength. And I said, you know, openly to Francis that you know I'm more than welcome to. You know, more than open to coming and raising money for the charity and helping out wherever I can going forward and you know, just being around the you know, making that transition from being a, a player into um showing giving my experience up.